بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اور دس نیو ویڈیو شیل بی ان دی انگلیش لینگویج اٹس ویڈیو نمبر اس ٹونٹی ٹو اٹ از ان انگلیش لینگویج دی ٹائٹل آف دس اسپیچ از اسپینش مسلم سائنسٹسٹ دی مسلم آف دی مسلمس آف اسپین ڈیورنگ سیون ہنڈریڈ ففٹی سی ای ٹو فور ہنڈریڈ نائنٹی ٹو میڈ تریمنڈس میڈ تریمنڈس progress in the field of science in the field of science it was extraordinary and it cannot be found in any other civilization for a long period the spanish muslims played a vital role in the fields of astronomy in the fields of astronomy mathematics physics chemistry medicine and engineering The Spanish Muslim scholars respected Aristotle too much, but they expressed truth without any fear and rejected his idea that Earth is the center of the universe. The Spanish Muslims stated with the facts that the Earth revolves around his axis and it also revolves around the Sun. and one circle completes in one year and this is without any doubt is accepted by every literate person today muslims successfully reached to this conclusion it so happened because islam broke down the chains of thought environment which was an obstruction in the path of mental progress these chains were artificial as these as these were broken the human thought as is broken the human thought as a caravan rain fast on the path of progress and at last reached to the point where we are observing it in the end of 20th century and the start of 21st century it is a fact that research and discoveries have reached to its highest place as scientists uh, uh, researched on things available on earth and in the skies the forests the deserts the seas mountains volcanoes oceans earthquakes natural sites the creation of human beings and animals and so on have discussed so much and such results presented that the common people are highly mesmerized and all these things provided a strong belief system and confidence living in fact in respect of knowledge and research these scientists are well wisher of each person who have observation and thinking and in their heart a lot of thankfulness and gratitude take birth as a matter of fact as a matter of fact these scientists were very much likened to whom the almighty god has chosen so that they may reveal those hidden facts which express the greatness of almighty and his highness so that it may provide more strength to our belief and confidence in the video 20 in english only few names of muslim scientists were taken up so that the idea that the holy quran and science have some contrast if there is contrast then its research and analysis is needed to science as any research which is against holy quran ayats or science it uh, analysis shall continuously go on and muslim scientists have always done it among these muslims or holy quran holders scientists one name is Abu Hassan Ibn Ali Hisham is one of the most respected name his many scientific works have magnificent successes to his credit briefly briefly his name was in the previous video but there was that there we shall describe his works in details but here we shall describe his works in details it is for the understanding as if a day is observed that how muslim scientists with guidance from the 
holy Quran, these works are accomplished by them, and it shall be also proved that how the discoveries made by Muslim scientists have been occupied by Europeans and they got its credit. It so happened. It so happened that a European scientist, while translating the books of Muslim scientists, these discoveries went to the European scientist. Abu Ali Hassan ibn Hisham was born in 1965 or 354 Hijri era at Basra, Iraq, and at the age of 66 years in 1021 Krishna era, he breathed his last. However, in his short life, he had done such scientific inventions that made al Hisham name immortal in the world of science. In the world of science, Abu Ali Hassan ibn Hisham studied the structure of eye. What is light? How a thing can be seen? What is the basis of light and sight? On all these topics, he researched and all his knowledge, information, research and experience presented in the form of a book, Kitabul Manazir, the book of the book of sights. This book in the discipline of physics and its one branch that is light, it is the first reference and fully documented first and complete work on light. He had given us twelve parts of an human eye like papil, Syria, iris, lacrimal puncta, inferior lacrimal canal, lacrimal duct, lacrimal sac, eyelid, lacrimal gland, lacrimal gland ducts, superior lacrimal canal. Ibn Ali Hassan, and we also like to show you the eye in this in the book. This is the eye, eyesight and its different parts, 12 different parts these are shown in the book. So the book in the disciplines of physics and its one branch that is light, it is first reference and fully documented first and complete work on light. He had given us 12 parts of an human eye. Ibn Ali Hisham is also received light. He thought about its source and reality and described it as a form of energy which is like heat energy. He states how we see he states how we see the things. He told us its reality and discarded the previous theories presented by the scientists before him. Before him scientists thought that there are rays come out from eyes and these rays are thrown on anything and thus the thing is seen. However, Ibn al Hisham rejected this viewpoint and said, This is not like it. In the presence of light, no rays are produced from the eyes and there is no existence of such rays. In contrast to it, the truth is that when light threw on anything, the rays of light spread over it and come back. Some of these rays go inside eyes and the things are seen. The camera is developed on this principle which revolutionizes the world of photography. Ibn al Hisham also tried to know why a straight why a straight stick is seen curved inside the water. When light comes on a glass which is its point of aggregation or focus. Similarly, why sun and moon are seen bigger at horizons? Why stars twinkle in the night? Why human beings and other animals are provided by two eyes? Thus Ibn al-Hisham had discovered the principles of 
reflection and deviation of light these are also guiding sciences to even today camera light discovery is the result of the hard work done by ibn al hisham he said that in the rays of sun light as well as warmness are available side by side similarly fire and lamps flame are light as well as warmness hence the relativity of light and warmness are same so the philosophers of ibn al hisham made world of science very rich ibn al hisham divided body into two parts light provider body and dark body light provider body provides light from itself like sun lamp and candle dark body does not provide light but it can be seen when light is thrown on it again he described three kinds of non light bodies one clear bodies in this body in this body the light can cross through for example air water and clean glass two semi clear in this medium light cannot pass easily and other side goods cannot be clearly visible on our side for example linen dirty glass three unclear goods unclear mediums or goods are those through which light cannot be pass and we cannot watch goods of the other side for example stones iron or bricks wall about light abu ali hisham ibn al hisham said that light travels in a straight line it is not needed any medium it travels without assistance in the respect of light ibn al hisham did an experience and on the basis of it other scientists invented photo camera he states that if if any closed dark room a small hole is made on upper side of the wall and if sunlight passes through it and a curtain is arranged in front of wall then all the reflections of goods shall be in inverse direction thus ibn al hisham did so many scientific experiments that humanity shall be benefited forever these are the scientists who revealed the hidden facts of the universe created by the almighty god or allah the holy quran is the holy quran is full of the chapters and sentences in which words stones trees flowers honey bee tarkal tarkal fruits vegetables air clouds thunder storm lightning as well as earth sun moon stars sea oil valuable stones like pulse chemicals and hidden medicines in fruits grasses flowers and even petals science and scientists to hand by many experiments got a conclusion then it is only then it is only one job and that is and that is almighty allah science are revealed for the benefit and service of human kind it is a great work and such work are performed with the permission of god and these people are his beloved pupil who did it the atheist scientists also accept the power of god and embrace his greatness by heart and they become great scientists respected listeners in the last video we have introduced the holy quran science and universe and in the following titles the four important the four important words must understand these are the holy quran science universe and for knowledge let us come and think intensely open all the gates and windows of our brain wisdom and consciousness in the world of research in science in the world of holy book the the holy quran and its hundreds of ayats and its signs we must study scientific articles because it informs about the science of god and their references are available in the holy book science research conclusions fair fair similar conclusions if if are similar to the holy book references then we suddenly say that 
the words of God are constitution of the universe, a book for obedience for God and truth path and for all human kind. Science helped to understand these hidden secrets and these secrets provide strength in our belief and confidence in the greatness of God the Almighty. Thank you very much that you provide your time. Please subscribe it, like it, share it with your friends. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.